We started back training on November, November the 24th. Uh, we had a bit of a trial series before that with, with a lot of guys came in and uh, we pulled the, the regular panel back into it then. There was a Crow Park the 24th of November was the time we could get back to training so that's when we started. Uh, good crowd of guys in, good honest working for the first six or seven weeks of it uh, and we had to sort of cull the panel back then uh, just before Christmas and we're working towards the Walsh Cup now so we at the minute we have a Walsh Cup panel uh, of about 43 players uh, that's including probably about 10 guys that are injured so we're, we're down to around our, our 30 odd mark for, uh, for the Walsh Cup. This year I'm joined in the back room by Jason Ryan. Uh, Jason has a wealth of knowledge, he's had to be around the block a little bit on the football circles and he's done a bit of hurling as well down with Glen Barntown. Uh, great to have Jason on board, uh, brings that, just as I said, that wealth of knowledge with him. Our head coach on the hurling side is David Franks, uh, an awfully man that's living in, across the border in Carry Shock. Uh, I suppose David is seven years with Ballygunner. Uh, we all know how successful that club team was and uh, he was with us with the 20s as well last year as, as our head hurling coach. Uh, the other two coaches are Des Mine and Aina Martin, uh, two good Wexford guys. Uh, bring a wealth of knowledge from the hurling point of view with him for two young guys. Uh, Des, I suppose, is looking at the forwards point of view. Uh, you know, Des has been one of the leading forwards in Wexford club hurling as well as his stint with Wexford back in 2005 to about 2007 or 8 as well. Uh, so I'm hoping he brings a lot to the table on that side with, within the forwards. Uh, Aina has played in every line of the field for Wexford probably as well. And he's been in the goal, he's been in the half back line, midfield, half forward line, full forward line. So again, that bit of knowledge as well and that bit of experience, you know, is great and they're well respected amongst all the players, which is the main thing. Niall Caffergy is with us, a Ross Lair native. Niall looks after the SNC. Uh, he's heading that up for the year. Uh, getting a great kick out of the lads at the minute. He's done a lot with the Martins over the last couple of years. He's been up in Dublin in sport in Santry uh, Rehabilitation Clinic and he's worked with that sport as well from a GPS point of view. And last but not, not least, in any regard, is Dave Fitzhenry uh, looking after the goalkeepers for this year. Uh, I don't think I have to say too much about Damien. Uh, I think Damien has spoken for himself uh, with what he's done for Wexford Hurling uh, over the last 20 odd years. Our gate are probably well represented this year with us. Uh, Mike Kelly is back in around again. Seamus Case is around. His younger brother Paul is with us. Aaron Duggan is in uh, making up one of four goalkeepers at the minute as well. So uh, and you can go back to the two wrecks, they're, they're always been with us, but uh, James Byrne has come in from Kilrush, Eskimoor, doing really well, Tucker Kinsa is the same club, uh, Tucker's in around last year in training panel, carrying a couple of little niggles but in around as well. Uh, and then when you look back at the older guys that are, are sort of coming back from a bit of injury, if Conor MacDonald is back around, Dio Keefe is back around, and Mark, Mark Fanning is back in as well as, in, as I said, one of those four goalkeepers, Mark is one of them again, so it's good to have Mark's experience back around as well. And, We'll have to make a decision on goalkeeper soon, we can't carry four, but uh, it's a good competition at the minute. On the injury side, we're, we're looking at a couple of sort of uh, medium to long term injuries with the likes of Conor Flood out of getting a bit of surgery done. You have uh, Conor Devitt is, is going for minor surgery as well. You have Dee and you have Conor McDonald carrying uh, injuries that will probably bring him back to the latter end of the league stages. Uh, but then you'd have the smaller stuff. Uh, Likes to Kevin Foy is coming back now from a hamstring injury. We'll have him back for probably the first round of the of the league, and we'll have we'll have a couple of new faces in the Walsh Cup, and you know, be it that true, I suppose the appetite they're showing in training over the last couple of weeks, and I suppose some of the, the injured guys being being out of action, and Matthew O'Hanlon is not back until the 25th of January either, so he's he's another body that's not around, but you know, they'll all come back in time, and uh, they're all doing the work they're meant to be doing. Uh, doing a lot of rehab stuff, there's no one doing nothing at the minute, it's, it's all really good. It was a great privilege to wear the Wexford jersey for 11th season and now it's a great honour to manage this great bunch of players. I'm really looking forward to the Walsh Cup.